Hello to you and welcome to the best bits of the second instalment of the one-day series between India and Pakistan. And once again, it was a must-win game for the home side after Sunday's defeat in Chennai. Well, for this game, the players were in Kolkata at the ever-impressive Eden Garden Stadium, which is where we were earlier today for the second one-day international between India and Pakistan. And these are the highlights. OK, let's start off with news of the toss. It was won by India, who decided to have a bowl first. Team news, uh, India made one change. Judeja in for Rohit Sharma. MS Dhoni at the toss said he wanted to strengthen the bowling unit. Pakistan, unsurprisingly, stuck with the same 11 that had won so handsomely in Chennai. So we're all set then. Here's what happened when Pakistan batted first. The first ball. Swing in to the uh, left-hander. Swings it both ways, Bhuvneshwar Kumar. Keep an eye out on his pace. Reminds you a little bit of Praveen Kumar. A little quicker than Praveen. Why is useful, Harsha? Because he's got control with his swings. That's why he has been very consistent with his wicket-taking ability. Let's have a look at the first ball. Nipped back. Well, there was a hint of a single, and I'm glad it stayed a hint. It gets past second slip, and will run away. The man on the boundary was backward point rather than third man. Now that's Ashwin in the slips. Everyone gets a go in India in the slips. They're going to come back for two. They have to be quick. He's home. Such a good track. And if you see her fees on that particular occasion, planted his front foot. 87, 89, 2004. It doesn't matter what decade. It's only one result here in Kolkata. Two wickets, 77 runs and six wickets. That two wickets result, February 1987, was, if you're an Indian fan, the most heartbreaking game of cricket you'll ever see. wide and to rub it in boundary lovely cricketing atmosphere here in uh, Eden Gardens Nasir Jamshed has had it uh, great against India Hafiz plenty of experience then in the middle order you've got Yunus Khan Mispah Shweb Malik class and experience combined Kamra Nakmal with a strike rate of about 90 can make a difference and making a difference is Nasser Jamshed. Just a flick over square leg will do the job. We find the gap and it's a pacey outfield. That ball will win the race with hands down. Suresh Raina gave up the chase very quickly in the piece. Is it away through the slip cord and runs the ball? Is spinning away from uh, who is it? Is it Dinda? Yes. Full blown dive. And uh, once again, it's applause from the crowds. He's a committed fielder, committed cricketer, Dinda. Was the dive good enough? To save a boundary. It's a close call. Again, the third man being very square. Third time it's gone in that area. A couple of them boundaries, and this one. Well, he touches the ball again. Is he making contact with the boundary line? Should be okay, I reckon. Now it's four. Four given. Certainly okay for Pakistan, Chef. <laughs> Jump shed on 12 now, but great effort from Dinda. Good athleticism, and good commitment. Flick runs, four of them. This is good batting by Nasser Jamshed. He may have started slowly, but he's slowly gaining momentum here. On 16 now, two lovely boundaries. A touch player certainly is Nasser Jamshed. Oh, that's a nice, certainly time shot. 
slowish outfield, but it'll still go to the uh, boundary. Slowish, sluggish outfield for the simple reason there's been a bit of rain here. Oh, beautifully done through the leg side. Played it marvelously well with the in swing of the bowler. 50 partnership raised by Jamshed and Hafiz. What a shot. What a lovely shot. There is no fielder there. He's finding the gaps with ease. Oh. Beautifully bowled. Nice flight and dip. And such a quick outfield. It's so frustrating for the bowler. He's won the battle there. But if you look at the scoreboard, it's four runs on the board. Chipped away, fine shot from uh, Jamshed. He's so strong in that area, wristy player. And uh, he stands up tall. Gets a lot of power with those wrists. That's pulled away. Got into position very quickly, Hafiz. And really now is looking to uh, take the attack to the opposition. Now that uh, looked deliberate, it may seem like an outside edge, but uh, he was looking always to open the face of the blade on that occasion. And gets another boundary. Intelligent cricket from Nasir Jamshed. This tour, he's got 41 of 32, 100 in Chennai, 35 not out, having a ball of a time here. He flashes hard. That would have been a brilliant catch. He was diving in Virat Kohli. Never easy. Flight of delivery outside of some. Mind you, he got out like this one of the games in T20 outside of some flight of delivery. Good effort from Virat Kohli. And just a hint of turn. But that's powerfully struck. Uh, he's, a, he's a tall man, he does pack a punch. And flicked away nicely. So, very good 50 here for Mohamed Hafiz. And his a good run in India continues. 50 of 50. Strike rate of 100. Shot, pulled away, powerfully. One bounce over the rope. Now again on the shorter side, Shuresh Raina. He's been preferred to Jadeja. Again, well bowled. How oh, did that carry? Brings up the 100-run uh, partnership. Looked as if it just fell short of Sevag. 100 comes up for Pakistan. And at a runner ball. A bit of turn there. He played with soft hands. That's why it didn't carry to Rim the Sevag, who is uh, standing at slip there. Right, what's he done here, Rainer? Slipping there. Bit of rain this morning. Spikes will be full of, uh, full of grass and mud. Oh, another one just goes past the slips. Third man's been the favorite area today. Okay, so what might have been 107 for no loss. Right, he's picked up the gap beautifully. In fact, doesn't matter where he's gone. 50 comes up for Nasir Jamshed. Wonderful innings. Uh, he's not... He doesn't strike you as being a risky player, but that's what that shot was. That's Pakistan cricket for you. Perfect partnership is going. 119 for no wicket. 
Guys, the ball is in the middle or in the gap, then run. Top edge, there's a fielder there. And it probably will race away to the boundary. What an effort from uh, Ashok Dinda. But in the end, in vain, another boundary to Hafiz. Now that's in the air too. And just short as well, it's been that kind of day. And they'll pick up three. Cover the yards, did Gautam Gambhir. Oh, that's a fine shot. That is an absolutely beautiful shot. Oh. Is there an edge on that one? It's put down a couple in recent times. When he's standing up. If there was, it was very, very fine. Oh, yeah. And he's knocked him over. Playing across the line, so Jadeja strikes. And finally, this wonderful partnership has been broken, much to the delight of the packed stadium here at the Eden Gardens. And Jadeja keeping it simple, rolling a fuller length, keeping it straight. And wrong uh, shot selection from Hafiz. He was much better when he looked to hit straight. Looking to hit across the line, misses the line completely. And finally, some joy for Jadeja. And India break this partnership. He's played a very good hand. Hafiz has gone for 76. 141 for one. Azhar Ali is the new batsman. Excellent record in both tests and one day as bright young player. 27 years old. Average of 45 both in tests and one day international. Just 14 matches. Oh, there you go. That, now, that's a good use of the short ball because it surprised the new batsman. Oh, now, was that bad first? That is what the shout was for. And there's a run out. Come here, Perez here. Fred, the batsman has to go here. The original shout you'll see is for the LBW. He's trying to sneak the leg by in. Wait and see. Well, a little bit of glove. So good call on the leg before. And the batsman is looking for the single. And Dhoni off in a flash. And good support there. Glenn the Seva coming into the stumps. And India pick up wicket number two. And the crowd is back in it. He's got to go, he's gone very early, he'll be disappointed as a rally. Pakistan 145 for two. Yunus Khan is uh, the next man in at the fall of Azhar Ali's wicket. There were 13 cricketers on the ground, only 12 thought, uh, 12 of them thought there was no run. Pull gone, six! What a great shot! Deposits it into the crowd. Nasser Jamshed has helped himself to a six. 150 comes up for Pakistan. Read the length early, picked it beautifully. Gigantic six. You can expect this from Ashok Dinda every now and again. He's predictable. He bowls a short delivery. And to a well set batsman, he'd be better off bowling a short delivery to the new batsman. Now, if that is taken by Jadeja, this is brilliant presence of mind. Billy Bowden has gone to the third umpire. And it was pretty intentional from uh, Jadeja because he knew exactly where the non-striker was. Yunus Khan is a great athlete. If it happens for India, you've got to credit Jadeja with this great presence of mind. Just flicking it back. Yunus Khan may have made it back just in time. Yes, I think he's done well, Yunus Khan. So, brilliant piece of cricket. Stunning piece of cricket. And uh, it livened up the crowds as well. They're all looking at the big screen. Not out is the call. Whoa! Spanking drive. Even Rana couldn't do anything about it. 
Oh, that must have hurt. He was coming from the edge of the ring and is stunned by that stunning shot. Oh, He's given it straight away. A wicket falls. And Raina gets his man, Yunus Khan, who will be disappointed. He got stuck there in the middle and brought about the pressure on himself. Now, is there any bat involved here? Well, he was very confident that there was a bit of bat involved because as soon as he played the shot, he showed the bat. Just got the impression that, uh, yes, quite clearly, quite clearly, thick inside edge. I, I just thought that the umpire was very quick to raise his finger. He should have given himself maybe a, a few seconds. There he is. There he is raising the finger pretty quickly. And uh, Jonas is out, 177 for three. And the captains come out to the middle, Ms. Baal Huck. The oldest man in the party, tons of experience. And power play being taken. the finger this time now this looked a lot closer a lot lot closer he was uh, not forward in a bit and the ball spun back now what you got to see is hey has it hit him in line and it looked out I thought he was trying to play across there it is the front uh, press just looking to work the ball away to the onside yes Yes, a good call from Billy because it's hit him not on the inside part of the front leg but the outside part. Have a look at that. In line up with the off stump. And it would have, because the ball didn't turn that much, it would have gone on to hit the off and middle. So Billy Bowden took his time and then gave him out. Missed by the captain out for two, 182 for four. with Shoaib Malik this could be touch and go I still think he might have made his ground the Indians not too excited Suresh Raina was the fielder Brad Kohli beg your pardon was the fielder well, let's have a look he's home that's uh, a terrific shot clean as a whistle down the ground for six. Fine shot. Punches the air in delight. It's another brilliant hundred from Nazir Jamshed. His third on the trot against the Indians. And in front of uh, 80,000 people here at Eden Gardens. What a performance from this youngster. Youngster, a special player. Second century in a row. First one in Chennai, second one here. Oh, fine. But this time there's a fielder there. No, no, no. Well, a call for no. Well, sure, if Malik was running to the danger end, surely he would have made it. Oh, he's missing. Now then, has he still got him in? That's what uh, the fielding side thinks. He missed the stumping the first time. Then he's knocked it back. They think they've got their man. Obviously, Nasir Jamshed will wait to see the uh, the umpire score. That's fine. The action is at this end. Look how far down he is. Dhoni's actually missed it. Now, when does the bail come off? That's the key. Yes, he's out. I think there's no worry at all. So Dhoni, after missing the easier part of the stumping, is made up with a more difficult effort. But the key, I think, was that Nasir Jamshed was so far gone. And I think they're only checking if the right glove, the, if the glove didn't knock it off, doesn't look like it. There's a hint from one of the angles, but he's got to go.
It's 210 for five in the 42nd over for Pakistan. Right, Kamran Akwal is a new man, and uh, how often does that happen when the new batsman come in? The pitch suddenly discovers Venom. That was a big turn. 30 years of age, 142 games, averaging 27.13, strike rate of 84. He can be very dangerous. Palmer Nakmal. Well, not today. Ravinder Jadeja is getting some turn. dhoni has got a slip. And I just wonder if this is a catch that goes down to the new rules. With a slip in place, Ravinder Jadeja is making this a very nice afternoon for him. That was his third wicket. Bit of turn, outside off stump, slip in place, outside edge, and Sehwag takes it in the end, and he's excited. A very crucial wicket for India here. They're back in the game big time. He has to go without any runs. Pakistan, 210 for six. Best score of 39, strike rate 70. Now, nah, how's that for a first ball? That'll go the distance. That's what Umar Gul is good at. Shoaib Malik, the pressure of trying to get to a big score has consumed him here. Well, Ishan Sharma getting rewarded for some really tremendous bowling today. He's in his ninth over, he's conceded only 27 runs. And he's bowled quite superbly. And the first ball he bowls is a slower delivery. And uh, Shoaib Malik not able to get the elevation that he needed. Yuvraj Singh taking a fine catch. And well done, young man. Well done, Ishant. That is a tremendous spell from him. 24 to show up. 236 for seven. Well, it, it, it uh, wasn't a good ball at all. And uh, it got the uh, punishment. I think it's been given four runs. Might have gone off uh, the glove. 243 for seven. I think, well, it's got to be premeditated, but I just wonder if the bowler saw it coming. Cheeky is a word that comes to mind. Now he hasn't timed it at all. It should be an easy catch. Virinder Saivag is the catcher. So Pakistan lose one more. It's all coming apart for them. Saeed Ajmal is the man gone for seven. He's always looking for boundaries. Gautman at the first delivery. That's a good shot delivery from Bhuvaneshwar Kumar. Well directed right into the body of Ajmal. And too close to freeze arms. A simple catch for Varendra Sevag. It's 249 for eight. Knocked him over. We're looking to go over mid wicket. I don't think he had a choice, Umar Gul. Pakistan's innings disintegrating rapidly here. But uh, at least they've got the 250 on the board. He does play a good high goal, mid wicket Umar goal, but not on this occasion. Got a six against the spinner, Jadeja. But this time missing it completely. It was well bowled once again by Ishan Sharma. Kept it straight, kept it on the stance, full of length. The batsman misses, you hit. Umar goal is gone for 17. He's played a good hand. Pakistan 250 for nine. Right, out comes Mohammad Irfan. All it required was a straight ball in the middle stump. is bent back. So the big man doesn't trouble anybody at all. And if you had told me when uh, Hafiz was batting along with Nasser Jamshed that Pakistan would be bowled out 
in less than 50 overs or 250. I should go and see some other match. But that's happened here. It's been... Uh, it's come apart, Pakistan. Ishan Sharma well rewarded. The first eight overs. He bowled brilliantly. Did not get a single wicket. Now he's picked up three. So India have come back very strongly in this match. Pakistan at one stage, 141 for no loss. Bowled out for 250. Well, at 141 without loss, Pakistan were on course for a huge total. Then Hafiz got out and they lost their way. Nasir Jamshed was once again the rock on which the innings was built with his third successive one-day 100 against India. But the big question at half-time was had Pakistan fallen short of what they needed by being bowled out for 250? The Indian heroes were Ishant Sharma with three for 34 and left-arm spinner Jadeja, who justified his recall with three for 41. So India needed 251 to win the game and level the series. The run chase is next. Could this be the first boundary it is? Signal is leg buys. Oh, you want a single Sevak sends him back with these two. There's always drama between the wickets. Six for no loss. Plays a shot on this outfield. It's for... Field the ball in very far away. And if he lies prostrate on the ground, he covers a major part of the outfield anyway, does Mohamed Irfan. That's cut. And that's cut hard for four. Blazing cut shot from Verinda Seva. Wow, in position early and hit it hard and found the gap. Oh, overthrows. What is happening? There was never a run. In the end, it turns out to be five for India. Crowd's happy. The Indians will take it. Doesn't matter how they come, as long as they keep coming. The bowler won't be happy. Just opening the face of the bat. Bit of a fumble to start with. Hafiz is normally very good. And way off target with the throw. Unable to back up. Bonus runs for India. Oh, beautifully placed. A great response from uh, one and only Varinda Seva, king of entertainment. Oh, over the stumps. Very lucky in the end, Gautam Gambhir. Oh, a little high, possibly going over the stumps, but what a good ball. Once again, making it tough for Seva. In swing is doing the job. Yes, he has this uh, back lift, uh, which comes from third man, and because his front foot does not always get uh, close to the ball, the incoming delivery has caused him problems in the past. Look at that. There's a huge gap, and quite clearly, because of the extra bounce that there is on this uh, surface, the ball would have gone over the top of the stumps. You can see over there. It's hit him on the top of the pad, but very good delivery this from Junaid. Junaid Khan gets the wicket, he richly deserves this. Fantastic piece of seam bowling and it's Gautam Gambhir who's inside edged it. And Pakistan are off the mark. Well, he looked just a little bit restive, you've got to say. He wasn't getting much of the strike. Sehwag had been uh, taking more of the deliveries. So he was just probably feeling uh, just a little restive. There it is, outside the off stump, a little bit of width offered. But he didn't uh, make the adjustment for that incoming delivery that Junaid bowled so well. And it was that late moment off the surface that got the inside edge. Raina is uh, upset as well, because India were going well, 42 for one. Virat Kohli. As to hurry, Kohli directed there. Might have been big trouble, another five for Sevan. 
Second time he gets five runs. Well, the bowler's not going to be amused. Sehwag playing with a soft hand. Kohli is very quick between the wickets, but even he had to rush. And now this is uh, going to be telling. Oh, oh, if it had been a direct hit, it would have been out. Nicely timed. He gets four for it. Brings up the 50. Desperate effort there from Junaid. The figure has gone up. And Kohli is walking. Yes. Kohli was walking even before. That's a brilliant catch. And Pakistan have got a double break here. Junaid Khan striking once again. It has Gautam Gambhir in his last over. Now Virat Kohli. Have a look at this catch. Yes, it probably would have been a wide down the leg side, but uh, because it was on the pads, a little bit of, a little more of the bat, and it could have gone past the wicket keeper and gone for a boundary. Outstanding work that by Kamran Akmal. This is more Kamran Akmal's wicket than Junaid's, but it's a wicket for Pakistan. It's 55 for two. Yuvrat Singh comes out to the middle, 31 years of age. He's got a very, very good one-day record, over 8,000 runs. Head straight to the fielder, oh, dropped in front of Irfan. That's close. No, finger has gone up straight away. It's a fine delivery from Umar Kohl. Cuts back in. Seba caught on his crease. And he didn't waste any time. It, a question to be asked here, would that have hit leg stump? It looked out. It's came with a bang, Umar Kohl. Oh, that was bang in front of the stumps. What a delivery from uh, Umar Kohl. Close to the stump, in swinging delivery, hitting bang in front of the stumps and he's got the important breakthrough for Pakistan they are three down for 59 now Sebag has to go for 31 oh he was gone had Umar Gul hit that was one more What an effort. He was in follow-through as well. Umar Gul is such a tremendous cricketer, good athlete as well. And uh, I think he was nowhere near the crease. He was or not even in the frame. Lucky for Suresh Raina and India here. I tell you what, even if he had crossed the, the line, his bat was so much in the air that uh, a directed would inevitably almost produce a run out. Well, definitely. Top edge, we fall safe. Oh, Irfan is going after it. You can understand why he's not the most elegant. He gets there. Oh, it's nothing. He's taking the two off the bat. He's got to go. The bouncers worked, even if not in the manner it was meant to. And India lose another. It's looking like Pakistan from here. Superb bowling. Couple of slow deliveries and then followed by the bouncer. And look at the height, look at the length. Edged straight to Kamran Akmal and look at the excitement. And Umar Gul, he knows the importance of this wicket. Yovrat Singh, the man in form, is gone. He has to go for nine. India struggling now, 70 for four. All right, fresh from a century. At Chennai, out comes Mahendra Singh Dhoni. Batting at number six, one of the greats, average 52, strike rate 88. <laughs> Another. No, I thought it came on the toe, it's called wide. Well.
See that took off. Took off a bit like a helicopter does, just off from where it was. Andre after 13 overs. A little bit of wave. Kamran Akmal has dislodged the bales. Umpire Billy Bowden has gone for a referral. Now, if Pakistan have got another wicket, it'll be a huge, huge blow. Oh, was it in the air? From this angle, it looks like it was in the air. Oh, yeah, I missed that. I absolutely missed that trick. Because this is, this is a pretty straightforward angle and a, possibly a conclusive angle there that foot was up in the air he was trying to drag it back into the crease a wicket has gone down just when india were looking for a partnership he's gone for 18 stumped brilliantly by kamran akmal what a game he's having behind the stumps 95 for five ashwin ahead of jadeja he's out there partnering his captain good decent record very good strike rate Billy Bowden has been asked a serious question here. But uh, he was uh, still looking to be on his front foot stride when the ball hit him. Was the off spinner? Well, very, very tight. Was the impact outside the line of off stump? Marginally. Oh, good ball. Straight to one from Ashmal. Good over, just a single coming from that over. 96 for five. Hundred comes up for India with a loud cheer from the crowds. They're still very much involved in this game, as is the Indian side. That hundred seems to have woken them from uh, the slumber. It's been slow going. Second fifty taking hundred and six balls. All gone. Easily done by Kamran Akmal. This was very much on the cards. Ashwin was going nowhere with his batting, with his play. India needing a, a dominating knock from either Dhoni or Ashwin. It's Ashwin who's perished to the pressure. And that's because the first two balls were dot balls. That's why it was important for Ashwin to be able to just tap the ball around and give uh, the strike to Dhoni rather than trying to push the ball away with firm hands. So Malik striking for Pakistan. The sixth Indian wicket down for 103. Kamran Akmal has been sensational behind the stumps. They've gone for the appeal. High fives from everybody. Said Ajmal is looking at the big screen for the big decision. Kamran Akmal has just convinced Yunus Khan that he's got the big man here. MS Dhoni. Well, it's a fair delivery. Because the foot is there. How much has he stretched out? Has he stretched out? Now, the ball's not in his hands. And I think he's got some part of the foot behind the stumps. It's a long way to go for India. 15 overs left. Required rate over nine now. The taking batting power play. That's in the air. Taken this time. Looking to break the shackles. Jadeja just not getting the elevation. And another one goes down. So Pakistan just tightening the screws. Getting the wicket they wanted in power play. He picked up his spot, but he couldn't execute properly. Midon was up. He played against the spin, middle the ball, but went straight to the fielder at Midon. Junaid Khan was the fielder, a very good catch. He was firmly hit and a crucial wicket for Pakistan. Jareda has to go for 13, 131 for 7 now. Right, Bhuvneshwar Kumar is the new batsman. List A averages 35, first class averages 30. Now he's put the finger up. So Saeed Ajmal picks up another. A 
magic delivery from Saeed Ajman, from Magician himself. Quick delivery, an off-break turn in. And in front of the stumps, let's have a look. It was a straight delivery turned. I think it was a good decision. Touch and go. But uh, he decided in the end, he has to go. Bhavneshwar Kumar departs. Yes, I said he could bat a bit, not today. Saeed Ajmal has produced another. It's gone without troubling the scorers. 131 for eight. This is like a knife through butter now. 132 for nine again, stuck on the back foot, Ashok Dinda. Tony will watch the carnage from the other end. There's a haze around the Eden Gardens, but none stronger than that, which is enveloped the Indian batting. What a delivery. Third wicket in this over. No chance whatsoever. Quicker delivery, 91 kilometers an hour. He's working his magic here, Saeed Ajmal. Maybe pitched outside leg, but at this occasion, umpire thought he was right in front of the stumps. And look at Saeed Ajmal, 3 for 19 of 8. What a spell! Dinda has to go without scoring. India, 132 for 9 now. It's a good bowling change here. They know Dhoni has to go for it, and he does go after. Irfan and the club as a boundary. What could Dhoni have done here? He's seen block, block, wicket, wicket, block, block, wicket, wicket at the other end. He's got to have a go now. And like, that's what exactly he did on this occasion. It was slightly wide, short of a length. Midoff was up. A good follow through. Cut of brown bounces into the fence. Has it been taken? Now it's put down. He got there, you know, very good catch. He's a fine fielder, Shoaib Malik. Hit very hard and very flat. Only using the bottom hand. Would have been a difficult take with the light pillars behind him. Good attempt, though, from Shoaib Malik. Now, has the catch been taken? They're all going up in appeal. Hang on, says Billy Bowden. He's going to take. A, he's going to go across and have a word with his uh, colleague. Yunus Khan's taken the catch. Now, a couple of questions here. Not just with the catch is clean, but there's a bum ball. I always wonder what they talk about over there because they never give a decision after that. Uh, after that, they, they talk to each other and they draw the rectangle. They might as well draw it straight away. Right, let's go this replay. That's absolutely fine. It's way behind. Now, point number two. Has it gone straight off the edge? That's the question. It's a bum ball, isn't it? Or is it? It would seem that it's a bum ball. Right, Deb Otmore to sit down again for a while. Not out is the verdict. Right, there goes Dhoni and gives the crowd something to cheer. What a shot. Hit his flat, but into the crowd. Picked it off a length, and the angle coming into the right hander. And Dhoni's a strong boy. It's been hit many a mile. Really was a super shot. Jay hit that hard. Oh, he clobbered that. It's a low full toss. And we'll find the boundary on the offside now. Dhoni's standing well back in his crease to negate the Yorker. Gets to 49, the Indian captain with the boundary. Fifty comes up for Mahindra Singh Dhoni. A third boundary in the over. It's third fifty in a row now. 
He's looked untroubled, but has had very little support. And he knocks him over. What a beauty. He's looking perplexed, Ishan Sharma. He just played down the wrong line. It left him. And now Dev Watmore can get up. And now he won't have to sit down. This has been a comprehensive performance from Pakistan. They take the series 2-0. Sorry, says Ichan Sharma to Dhoni. But that was a peach. Just too good for the tail ender. Dhoni will stay 54 not out. And Pakistan will win by 85 runs in a game that uh, they dominated for the better part. Openers put on 141 and then the bowlers ensured that 250 was more than what they needed. Well, that was a drubbing as India meandered to a hugely disappointing 165 all out to give Pakistan victory and the series by 85 runs. Only Dhoni offered any resistance, but by the end, even his resolve seemed to have crumbled as he seemed intent on just trying to make sure that India weren't bowled out inside the 50 overs. They were, and by Junaid and Ajmal with three apiece in what was a superb and highly professional performance by Pakistan. Well, here are the final facts and figures then. Pakistan winning comfortably, and it was a somewhat chastened MS Dhoni who was the first to answer questions at the post-match presentation ceremony. I've got uh, MS Dhoni alongside me. MS, uh, good fight back in restricting Pakistan. At that stage, you would have felt you've done a really good job. Yes, I think the bowlers brought us back into the game. Uh, you know, spinners in the second half of the first innings, they bowled really well. And after that, you know, the fast bowlers also contributed. You know, there was a bit of bounce for them. And they made the mo uh, most of it. But I think, you know, when we went into bat, uh, you know, we lost too many wickets. Because last 30 overs, we needed 180 runs. So, you know, if you try to put something like 100 of the 20 overs, then the last 10 overs, you can look to get 80 or 90 runs with five fielders, you know, inside. But the key to it is having wickets in hand, and we were never really in a position. Well, Mesbah, thoroughly professional performance today. Yeah, I think uh, the team really played well, especially the way openers started. I think they just gave us the initiative and scored a really, really good knock at the top, and then I think bowlers did the job. No, but uh, when you got out for 250, you were restricted to 250. At one stage, it looked even you could get 280, 290. So what were you thinking at that stage? Yeah, I think the way Wicket was playing, I think 300, down about 300 was on the card. Uh, the way openers played, otherwise, uh, what I was feeling that it's not a wicket that uh, you, you're going to score easily, especially for the new batsman. And if we score 250 still, it's a fight. It's a fight on. Now the man of the match today for an outstanding innings, back-to-back -back hundreds. Nasser Jamshed, in fact, three hundreds uh, on the trot against India. He will collect the Man of the Match uh, award from Mr. Virendranath, Nath, COO, Bharti Airtel Limited, and a medallion there as well. Well, Nasser, very well played. You missed out with the Man of the Match award in uh, Chennai, but you made sure you got it here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, first of all, thanks to Allah, they gave me a lot of help inside. I just uh, enjoy my batting. Yeah, last time I missed by uh, the man of the match, but today I'm lucky they gave it to me. Now, uh, you showed great maturity. You know, when wickets were falling around you, you had to pace your innings again. You know, there was a stage where the boundaries dried up, but you kept your cool, you didn't panic. Yeah, a little bit pressure on my uh, uh, head, but uh, I just uh, cool my inside and just play my normal game. Actually, uh, Faiz Bhai was played great inning. Uh, I think it was a great uh, partnership with us, and they gave me a lot of help inside. I just enjoy my batting. So, Pakistan lead this three-match series by two games to nil.